Hi, how's it going, y'all? Rowdy Rouse back with another video, and uh, one of my favorite toy companies right now because they just make fun stuff. They make really cool figures. Is Jada Toys, and this figure, he came out last year, and I missed the initial wave, and they've released them a couple more times after. But I finally got my hands on uh, Chester uh, Cheeto Chester, the uh, Cheetah from Cheetos from Jada Toys. Um, he's in there. I mean, we'll take a close look at the box earlier but he's in there super cool uh it's a fun box that i can already tell this is gonna be a really cool figure so yeah with all that being said let's take a closer look at the box and we'll get this bad boy open taking a look at the box it looks like a box of cheetos it says action figure cheetos crunchy and we've got a picture of chester cheeto or chester cheetah there on the front 13 plus on this side cheetos chester cheetah action figure and we have a render of the figure there on the back of the illustration of chester cheetos it's not easy being cheaty jada toys down there at the bottom because those are the guys who made this on this side we've got cheetos action figure facts serving size one figure one figure per container 112 scale action figure includes accessories alternate head hand two cheeto one bag one authentic retro styling collector quality paint paint 100 collector quality sculpt 100 points of articulation 20 and then we'll zoom in on the figure down there for you top of the box bottom of the box with the upc and with all of that being said let's get this bad boy open i love when they make it easy for me there was some tape down there that i pulled off so hopefully we can just pull chester out no problem I keep wanting to say, oh yeah, but that's the Kool-Aid guy. Chester just has Cheetos. But yeah, there he is. Here is Chester the Cheetah out of the box. And as you can see, he is one cool cat because he's got his sunglasses and his spots and it's all painted nicely uh, with his shoes down there. Uh, he just looks really great and he feels really good. He is a little loose, but that's fair because he's really gangly, but he articulates really well. Like the range on him is kind of insane. And he's just a cool looking cat and like even the bottom of his shoes are painted. So yeah, he's a really cool figure. I've been wanting him and I'm glad to finally get my. And I really think Jada is at their best when they're having fun so we can have fun because as you can see with the Street Fighters and this guy, they're just really toyetic. Uh, figures and they're just really really fun and that's what you hope to get when you're spending like 25 bucks checking out his height chester stands at five and and let me just get down here five and a half inches pretty dang sure so yeah going over the articulation as you can see i've got him posed up here really cool so kind of a shame to change that but we will go over it because he is really well articulated for being so spindly and thin and lanky head goes that far forward that far back to the side to the side the neck is also separate so you get some extra movement in there shoulders do come up at least 90 degrees single elbow but they come in pretty dang far we get a midsection which has nice movement there as well back that far forward that far side to side legs come up that far painted toes back that far to the side single joint but it does once again bend pretty far ankle pivot rockers really nice and of course we get tail articulation and we get uh forward and backward hinges on these which are kind of tight so be careful and they don't have that much movement because he's got big chunky hands but there you go that one moves really well so he is really well articulated he's a really cool figure and i'm glad to have picked him up now let's check out the accessories he's like hey i'm a cool cat eat some cheetos so first of all for accessories he comes with this giant cheeto which looks like a real cheeto almost like if you throw it in with a pack of cheetos someone's gonna break a tooth because it's kind of hard it's a little bit rubbery but you don't want to bite into that and then we get also a bag of cheetos which is really cool it even has nutrition facts and all that stuff from the back of a bag in there that's really cool it's great for photography you can be handed people cheetos they also get this alternate head sculpt which is fairly different uh i don't know why they even made it a different head sculpt because his mouth is just slightly open and that's really the only difference that I can see is the mouth. Like they could have given him a little bit of an articulated jaw. That would have been great. But uh, at least we did get an alternate head. And then, of course, we get some swappable hands, one of which is for holding that Cheeto. And as you can see, he does have Cheeto dust on both of the right hands, which is cool because, you know, he's holding the bag with his left, reaching in with the right. But he can hold this giant Cheeto with this hand. Uh, he's trying to take a nose dive. Don't do it, Chester. Hold the giant Cheeto like that. And then this other hand is a kind of gesturing hand. But this hand holds the bag of Cheetos and uh, it kind of, well, it wasn't there for a second. 
kind of hard because it's kind of bulky in the hand. You have to get it like just right in there for him to hold it. But he does hold it. And yeah, that's it for the accessories. So I guess let's get into comparison. They also get this alternate head sculpt, which is fairly different. Uh, I don't know why they even made it a different head sculpt because his mouth is just slightly open. And that's really the only difference that I can see is the mouth. Like they could have given him a little bit of an articulated jaw. That would have been great. But uh, at least we did get an alternate head. And then of course we get some swappable hands, one of which is for holding that Cheeto. And as you can see, he does have Cheeto dust on both of the right hands, which is cool because you know he's holding the bag with his left, reaching with the right. But he can hold this giant Cheeto with this hand. Uh, he's trying to take a nose dive. Don't do it, Chester. Hold the giant Cheeto like that. And then this other hand is a kind of gesturing hand. But this hand holds the bag of Cheetos. And uh, it kind of, well, it was in there for a second. It's kind of hard because it's kind of bulky in the hand. You have to get it like just right in there for him to hold it. But he does hold it. And yeah, that's it for the accessories. So I guess let's get into comparison. First up for scale and comparison, here is Chester Cheetah with some Chester's Puffcorn Cheese because uh, I didn't have any Cheetos. First of all, for comparison, here he is with some other Jada toys. We have Ken from Street Fighter and Mega Man from, of course, Mega Man. Here he is with some G.I. Joe Classified series, some Lightning Collection. You know, you can share Cheetos with everybody. Marvel Legends and Articulated Icons next to Chester. That green and orange next together looks really good. Some SH Figure Arts, some more SH Figure Arts some moth x and some black series and that's it for our chester the cheetah comparison so with all that being said y'all i will say that chester cheeto uh from jada toys is totally worth it to me i mean just look at this guy i remember as a kid just being like i eh, wish i had a toy of this cheeto this cheetah that was on the front of this snack that i really like and that, that's true that was legit a thought that ran through my head as a child and now we have him so that's really cool so make sure to hit the like button if you like this video hit subscribe if you're not subscribed check out my patreon dollar a month for videos like this one early and of course, comment down below. Let me know what you think of this figure. If you plan on picking him up, if you want Jada Toys to do more like this, let me know. They'd be cool if they made Captain Crunch. I know they made some cereal stuff and all that. But yeah, Chester's really sick. Uh, comment down below how your day is going, all that stuff. I love you. I'll see you next time. And bye-bye.